department is cutting fire services in half starting this weekend. News Channel 3's Kim Rafferty had a chance to speak with the Taze Valley Fire Chief about why they are having to cut the services if the change is permanent and what it would mean for you if they have to get to you in an emergency. Starting at 8 p.m. on Sunday, Chief John Smoot says residents in the Taze Valley area will see a change in their local fire department, causing response times to slow at night. Fire protection in Taze Valley will be cut from 24 hours to 12 hours a day, from 8 in the morning to 8 at night. Oh, no, I'm still not comfortable with it. So if a call comes in on Sunday at 9 p.m., what would that mean? Um... That means that we will no longer have a fire engine staff to respond to that call and it will be responded to by people coming away from their homes. Taze Valley is a volunteer department. However, Smoot says they serve the most amount of people in Putnam County. A bill passed in the special session that puts $12 million into volunteer departments. That bill's passing surprised Smoot. I was completely surprised. I've never seen anything happen in the West Virginia legislature that quick. Smoot says he hopes to use the new money to cover salaries. Well, For now, fire trucks from Taze Valley will more than likely not respond to medical emergencies at night. And if a structure fire engulfs a home, firefighters could be too late. Chief John Smoot says he hopes this change is not lasting. And when funding comes in, they'll be able to go back to a 24-hour department. In Taze Valley, Kim Rafferty, WSAZ News Channel 3. Chief Smoot also went on to say the ambulance service at Taze Valley will not be affected. After almost 90 people were forced from their apartments in Chapmanville on Monday after a kitchen fire in just one apartment, there was a lot of water damage, though. We can tell you that just about all of those people are back in their homes tonight. News Channel 3 spoke with.